the 2nd of December and we are here in Shai Shai, Mozambique. We're at the Merlingwabi Occupational Health Service Centre. Mozambique has two occupational health centres, one in Shai Shai, another one in Majakas. This morning we'll have the Minister present to open the centre, along with other delegates from the Global Fund, the RCM and uh, Tim of the Today's launch of the Marin Guabe OHSC has been an extremely successful event, not only because we've launched a facility, but also because it was so well received by the community and by the Minister of Health as well. Mozambique, oh yeah! Saúde, oh yeah! Provincia de Gaza, oh yeah! to have the Minister of Health, Dr. Nazira Abdullah, open it today. Be very pleased with the results she has seen today of the first three months of operations at the center. It's really remarkable progress. We have started on September. So on September, we had just screened for almost 162 patients. Actually, it was the beginning, so we are facing some challenges opening. October, we screened over 647, November 755 patients. This centre was set up here in Shai Shai mainly because it services um, the ex-mine worker community and migrant mine workers that service the mines in South Africa. The centre is uh, orientated towards a particular population that has largely been neglected by health systems and that is the mine worker and ex-mine worker community. This is the Occupational Health Service Center for TB in the mining sector in Southern Africa that has seen initially the largest results of mine workers, ex-mine workers coming through, their family members coming through. For what we were expecting, we are receiving more three times the number that we are receiving, where we're supposed to receive here. So it is a challenge, and we know that the mine workers are really concerned about their health. So in media, we are receiving daily more than 50 patients coming to the center. Other members of the community who have heard about the opening of the Occupational Health Service Center as an additional health resource in this community. The fact that they're coming here to have their health screened, whether it's for TB or HIV or anything else that they may be suffering from, that's a good strength of this center. This Occupational Health Center, we diagnose all kinds of diseases. And we have been diagnosing people with TB and HIV, and they have been referred to the hospital. But we've also been diagnosing people with uh, hypertension, people with uh, glucose, who have diabetes or other diseases. And those are people that are in the community. They never felt sick before. I think it's important to see this clinic as an entry point. So TB might be uh, the issue that brings people to the clinic. But when people do come to the clinic and find that they have many other illnesses that need to be treated, uh, the clinic can refer them on. And this is why we have made a very deliberate decision to locate these clinic within existing health facilities. So there's a huge population who needs to have their health assessed for tuberculosis, to be tested for HIV, to be screened also for silicosis, and to be diagnosed if they have pulmonary TB, MDR TB. It's, it's really, in my view, remarkable progress today.